What's good, y'all? It's your receiver teacher. And today we're going to talk about all the different uh, press releases that you can use to be dominant at the line of scrimmage. But before we get into that, though, you know the drill. Make sure you go to receiverteacher.com, fill out your email in a contact form to gain access to free exclusive content. All right. So workout plans, training programs, nutrition plans, all that stuff coming very soon. But just to kick it off, all right, we're going to start off with the one step jab, right? Probably the easiest uh, release there is. All right. So right here, Diggs, this is inside foot up right his left foot so he's going to jab with his right foot there's really one key all right with one step jabs that a lot of young receivers don't know all right you really got to step outside of his frame all right to threaten them if you just you know do some little steps right here all right and he can just stay square he's not going to be threatened by that all right so you'll see right here opens his hips all right so now he can go up straighten up for the slant so that's a one step jab all right and like i mentioned in my how to beat press video all right you always want to pair your releases together so what does that mean all right we just saw the one step jab all right again so just one step all right boom all right so after you hit that a couple times right the db starts sitting on the one step all right that's when you come back with a double up all right so you'll see right here on the left right van jefferson the exact same as a one step jab and then instead of taking the inside here you're going to redirect off this foot and go back to the outside like he does boom all right, so double up. It's just now it's two steps, right? So one, two, one, two. It's very simple, right? So again, double up. Just make it look exactly like a one-step jab until it's not. All right now we got the split release, all right? I've made a video on the split release already. Uh, basically, all right, your feet come off the ground, hit the ground at almost the same time, all right? The foot that hits the ground first is where you're going, all right? So if you're going left like Devontae Adams, all right, he hops off. His left foot strikes, and then right after, his right foot strikes, and he's going to redirect off that second step to go inside, right? All right, it doesn't matter where you're going. Your right foot could hit the ground first, but lots of people teach this and say your feet should hit the ground at the same time, but you, you never want to do that, all right? Your feet should always be gaining ground, all right? If you land at the same time, all right, you're going to get stuck in the mud, all right, is what they call it. But again, I've made another video on the split release itself, so just go watch that. I'm not going to go super in-depth. It's pretty self-explanatory. All right, we also got the slide release, all right? So I've made a video on the slide release as well. Once again, you're trying to threaten outside of the DB's frame. If you're just sliding, all right, side to side on the line of scrimmage, he's not threatened. He's not even going to give you a reaction. He's just going to stay square, all right? So you still got to gain ground. If you just go side to side, all right, he's not going to give you a reaction because you're not going anywhere. If we look to the left right here, all right, the uh, wide receiver does a great job, all right, threatening him to the outside while still gaining ground, all right? Now the DB is forced to give you a reaction, all right, because you're threatening him, especially on the goal line, all right, in the end zone. He has to give you some type of reaction or else you're just going to take off to the fade wide open. So again, slide release, all right, it's not just horizontal. If you look at Justin Jefferson, all right, he gains about three yards before he makes his move. All right, because he's sliding him diagonal. All right, he's not going to give you a reaction if you just stay at the line of scrimmage. All right, because that's just time taken away from you getting into your route. He wants you to stay at the line of scrimmage. That's the whole point of press coverage. All right, is for you to be at the line of scrimmage for as long as possible. So always gain ground with each step. All right, force him diagonal, force a reaction out of the defender. All right, next is the blade release. All right, or the blade technique. This is great for you shorter receivers. If you have a struggle getting off press, all right, this is a great one to use. All right, down here we got Ryan Beecham. All right, he's like five eight five nine. All right, and this defender has a staggered stance. If you haven't seen my video, how to beat press. All right, anytime you see a defender with a staggered stance you know he's about to jam you, all right? right? He's getting in a position to lunge at you. So right here, pre-snap, you should know that this type of aggressive jam is coming, and he does, all right? And he just, you know, gets under it with the blade technique. Again, if you haven't watched my video, uh, blade technique, make sure you go check that out. Dip your front shoulder by ripping your opposite elbow back, all right? So he's trying to dip his right shoulder. So you'll see his left uh, elbow right here goes to the sky but again if you haven't make sure you go watch my uh blade technique video all right it's very important all right this is another you know two step double up whatever you want to call it all right it's basically just two steps right so jab to the inside all right go to the outside redirect back inside it's very simple all right one two one two now notice how the receiver stays low all right he doesn't you know pop up all right his pad level never changes from when he's in his stance all right, to when he's doing his release, to when he's going upfield. He stays low. He doesn't give the defender his chest because once you do that, that's a huge surface that he can put hands on and press you up, all right? So you always want to stay low. Again, just like we talked about the blade technique, all right? Never give him your chest. Give him your back, all right? Get skinny. This is another one right here, Doug Baldwin, all right? This is a bit of a, like a soft press look, not, you know, hard press where he's getting hands on. But what do you do when you see that, all right? If you haven't seen my video, how to be soft press, all right? You know you got to attack cushion, all right? Attack leverage and make a sudden move. So he just kind of hops, 
into his space. All right, guess square. And he's just going to hit him with a quick one-two. And this is just a crispy-ass move. So again, whenever, you know, you might be off the ball. You might be playing in the slot, all right? But this guy is down pressing you. All right, the goal is to reset the line of scrimmage. So just eat up that space. All right, same thing right here, AB. All right, he goes to make his move, but the defender's off at like a yard. All right, so what's he going to do? He's going to hop in his space. You see that little hop right here? All right, it's very subtle, but he's going to hop into his space so that he can make his move on his toes. But he's not going to get too close. Like I just talked about, all right, you want to be at like one, one and a half yards range from the defender, all right, because, you know, when you beat him with a move, he's always going to try to swipe and hold you all right or, or get a hand on you so if you're too close he can get a hand on you and recover no matter how good your move was all right all right so again slide release keenan allen all right just sliding out foot fire all right notice how he's staying square right because he has to read the db all right you have to be a threat to the inside and outside and you do that by being square you know right here if your shoulders are just facing this way all right, he knows you're going to the outside, all right? So he's just going to wall you off. He's going to play your back hip, all right? And he's not going to let you come back inside. Same thing right here, all right? You notice how he's sliding, again, sliding vertical, all right? Diagonal, you still want to be gaining ground, all right? He's not going to give you a reaction if you're just on the line of scrimmage because he wants you to stay at the line of scrimmage for as long as possible. That's his entire goal. Right? So again, sliding, still gaining ground, all right? But he's square, all right? Everything right here is going vertical, all right? His hips, his shoulders, all right? Everything is facing forward. All right, he's not committing to one side. He's not looking over here, looking over here. Right, everything's square, and you're just gauging his reaction. All right, again, if you haven't watched my video, How to Beat Press, all right, I'm about to film another one right after this. All right, so make sure you subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button uh, if you haven't already. Uh, comment down below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.